My name is Vimukti Virutunga. I'm a wildlife biologist. I'm attached to the Cinnamon and Nature Trails, which is the wildlife tourism arm of Cinnamon uh, Hotels and Resorts. Art Travel, uh, the luxury brand of Walker's Tours, also a sister company of uh, Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts. I'm working as a manager for the uh, business unit, but my training is, is all about wildlife. I'm a wildlife biologist by, by training uh, in many universities. I have been working with uh, elephants uh, in the very early stages of my, my career uh, so that uh, elephants are much closer to my heart. The Sri Lankan uh, elephants are very special to us because we are an island and 10% uh, of the Asian elephant population live in this small island. The, the special story about the Asian elephants here in Sri Lanka is we are sharing this land with 22 million people with 5,000 elephants. That uh, story itself is, is, a, is a very significant story. Uh, as far as the tourism part is concerned, uh, this is the, the one of the best places in the whole of Asia that you will see the Asian elephants very freely, very easily. Uh, that is why Sri Lankan elephants are very special uh, to us in terms of uh, conservation as a megafauna uh, as well as the, the tourism value. The elephants are a very special part of Sri Lankan culture and, uh, and religion uh, because uh, in the historical context uh, elephants were part of the uh, king's army and that is how they sort of embedded to the Sri Lankan uh, culture. And then when you go to visit any of the cultural sites in Sri Lanka, uh, the elephant symbol is, is a must thing everywhere it is there. So that shows that the culture and religion uh, and elephants are sort of intertwined in, in the society. That gives uh, immense value to the elephants also. Uh, historically, uh, captive elephants were kept in uh, with the various uh, communities in Sri Lanka to show the sort of a wealth and prosperity uh, as a symbol of wealth and uh, prosperity and the power also. Uh, now of course it is slowly diminishing uh, because the values are changing. Uh, nevertheless, elephants are still a big part of uh, Sri Lankan culture and religion. When it comes to the Sri Lankan elephants, uh, entire dry zone of Sri Lanka except extreme north in Jaffna Peninsula and uh, the wet zone of Sri Lanka, the majority of the wet dry zone of Sri Lanka, uh, you will see the elephants very freely. Uh, that is why uh, Sri Lanka is one of the best places to watch uh, elephants. The wet zone elephants which lived in sort of highlands of Sri Lanka and the lowland wet zone areas, uh, they have already diminished, they have already uh, vanished from that area uh, because of the uh, industrial agricultural expansion, tea, coffee and rubber at that time. But there's a one pocketed elephant herd in, in Adams Peak, uh, that is the only existing uh, wet zone elephants but the rest uh, wet zone elephants have gone. Singaraja, there are one or two elephants that are uh, roaming around, uh, but other than that, uh, there's no uh, wet zone elephants. The elephants are all in the dry part of Sri Lanka. So the 70% of the elephants in Sri Lanka are living out of the national park, out of the protected areas. That's another special uh, thing about Sri Lanka. So they are not in the protected areas, but they are um, outside the protected areas. That gives you another freedom for people to watch elephants very freely. Now the we, um, Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts, started very comprehensive, very scientific uh, elephant research project based in Habaran. Uh, why? The northwestern province has a huge, uh, very healthy elephant population. Uh, but at the same time, that is where we also operate, we have two resorts are operating. So it is uh, for us as a brand uh, that we need to give something back to nature. So that is one, uh, why, one reason that we, uh, we started this project. Uh, then we want to bring um, some sort of a science element to it. Uh, why? Uh, without science, you can't manage the elephant. Why do you want to uh, know the science? Because uh, there is a... Uh, world famous phenomenon is going on in the Mineria and, and Kaudula National Parks. 
where during the peak dry season large amount of elephants large number of elephants gather making like a, a massive elephant gathering which is very special phenomena uh, that is actually identified as the sixth uh, greatest wildlife spectacular in the world so what we thought um, okay there is a gathering is going on but we don't know the story behind the gathering for us to know where do these elephants go during the non gathering season and also the sort of a roaming uh, roaming pattern of these elephants that will help us to increase the awareness of our guest engage with the guest uh, not only that uh, we also uh, can increase the awareness of the the tourism uh, community uh, the jeep drivers the trackers uh, guides whoever it is and we are trying to bring a story the scientific story behind the gathering so that is why we thought of coloring two herds um, that is about 50 uh, animals 50 to 60 animals so if you uh, collar the matriarch uh, it's a gps collar very heavy uh, gps collar every four hours you get the signal uh, to the satellite and download it to, to our computers you, we know exactly where these animals are uh, going moving daily basis and so that we know the roaming pattern and that is very important because the elephant management is uh, totally depending on how you manage the land, where do they go. That is how you increase the human elephant conflict also, which is a big part of elephant management here in Sri Lanka uh, today. Uh, so that we know exactly what area that they are using, what areas that they are crossing the, the main road, which area they are crossing the, the railroads. Because in this uh, northwestern province there are a lot of road network, a lot of uh, railroad networks are there. So that we want to have some sort of understanding, a clear understanding of their migratory pattern. So that um, by tracking these animals for about a two years, we will get to know their normal uh, sort of routine. Um, in, during this uh, study, there's a very special movement has, has occurred. Uh, Minaria National Park, uh, during the peak dry season, you have everything what the elephants are hoping to have. Uh, the food, water, interaction between other elephants, finding the females, everything is there. But all of a sudden, one of our collared herds, Mineva, uh, is the, uh, the matriarch of that herd, went to Polonnaru on a straight line and then stayed there for about a month and a half, two months and came back on the same straight line back to Mineri. So that's the very special, very special phenomenon that we would never ever understand without coloring these elephants. Why? We never would imagine that when, when everything is there, what the elephants are hoping for, what the elephants need to survive uh, is there, why do they want to go to another location uh, far from Min area uh, and then come back on the same track. And then that track is also very important because that is where we need to understand this is the traditional migratory pathway. We, we should not disturb this particular pathway so that this migration will continue for many generations. So that's what we, what we need to understand the land use pattern of these elephants and then we will increase the awareness of the, the, the Department of Wildlife Conservation which is the uh, authority of conservation of elephants and also these kind of special movements, special stories are important for wildlife uh, tourism sector. So that uh, whatever, whoever the guests visit Sri Lanka, visit Minaria National Park, uh, not only they see the elephants, large number of elephants, but also the stories, special stories of their movements and things like that. So that's the main idea of, of putting this whole very scientifically oriented uh, project together. The collaring is a, is a very scientific process. Um, the collar itself is a, is a very expensive toy and it costs about 1.5 million rupees. So that you sedate the animal. It's a very interesting uh, process. It is conducted by the vets of the veterinary surgeons of the wildlife department. Uh, earlier, uh, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, you usually put the uh, elephant down and then uh, fit the collar and activate the collar and give you the, the reversal drugs and then they'll get up and walk and go back and join the herd. But now the technology is, at the medical technology is advanced. Now we don't put animals down because once you put the animal down, the process is much more longer, uh, much more tedious. But now 
we do the sedation. Sedation means the animals is sleeping, standing and sleeping. Um, you know, if you uh, if someone is in, you know engage in this kind of process, it's a very fascinating process. And uh, then you put the collar and then uh, do all kinds of things, get some measurements of the elephants and things like that. And then you give the reversal drug and uh, he will sort of get up and walk and uh, join the herd. So it's a very uh, special um, process. It's a very scientific process where the veterinary surgeons, uh, wildlife experts uh, and many other uh, people are there to support uh, to it. Very risky also, I would say, uh, because when you put down um, a leader of the herd uh, is sedated and surrounded with the humans, uh, the rest of the herd is always trying to attack. So uh, the, the, the staff who are conducting these kind of uh, coloring process is a, is a life-threatening uh, risk is there. Um, but nevertheless, it's a scientific thing that we have to do and uh, that's how we did it. It is not dangerous at all. Uh, but those days when you put down the elephants, well, uh, you know, the, uh, there's a technical parts of you know, how to measure the drug dose and things like that. You know, by looking at the animal, we, we measure the drug, uh, you know, it's just a guess game. Uh, but other than that, uh, absolutely there's no uh, danger for, for elephants. The entire project was funded by the John Keels Foundation and it was spearheaded by the Nature Trails which is the wildlife tourism arm of the Cinnamon Hotels and Resort and it is uh, sort of uh, the epicenter of the entire project is Habarana Lodge and Village. So that is what added to the, to the Cinnamon brand and the John Keels uh, brand. Uh, because uh, the funding, the technical support, the spearheading, planning and everything is being done by the in-house team. Uh, being a, uh, the wildlife uh, uh, trained person, wildlife trained uh, wildlife biologist, uh, it is added advantage for the brand also uh, so that uh, we, we can plan these kind of scientific research, scientific uh, inputs, scientific projects uh, uh, well. When we design the project, of course, uh, the volunteerism is always there. Uh, the foreign, uh, couple of foreign graduates came and worked with us uh, because working with elephants is a, is a rare opportunity for most of the foreigners. Elephants are living on in the African region and the Asian region. So whoever is willing to come and work with us, uh, there are opportunities not only for foreigners, but also for locals, um, school kids, school leavers, uh, young graduates. Uh, these things are always open uh, and we uh, welcome uh, internships because uh, they also learn something and they also uh, carry this message outside um, that is that that uh, volunteerism is also uh, basically uh, embedded uh, the plan to the to the project uh, at the same time we always encourage uh, guests to learn about this particular project and we are planning to have a, a sort of elephant information center in the Habana Lodge so that people can learn more, dig deep into the project and uh, they might uh, contribute something, you know, as a, as a guest who visits Sri Lanka and uh, they will hear about this particular project and uh, they might think that this is a fascinating project and, and we would like to be a part of that. And that's how you engage with the guests, not only providing the, the scientific information, uh, and also our engagement of, of conservation, uh, what we are giving back to the nature, uh, try to preserve iconic uh, uh, species uh, for Sri Lanka. What we need to understand the roaming pattern of, of the elephants in this area. So what we are looking at, yes, you are coloring only one animal, but with that animal there are about 30, 40 animals are roaming around. So that's a big sample size. And then, when you know the entire sort of a pattern, then we communicate with the authorities. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the road development authorities, maybe police uh, try to control the traffic and things like that. Railway department uh, trying to uh, increase the van of engine drivers, uh, the exact areas that they, these elephants usually um, cross uh, railroad. And also uh, the, the Department of Wildlife Conservation, we are giving uh, these weekly maps of the elephant uh, movements and then they will also understand whether these animals are going into the human habitations or agriculture areas uh, or any conflict area so that uh, they can be prepared 
um, the more important part is to looking at the larger land use pattern um, the, which what are the areas that these animal elements these elephants are roaming around and then somehow we trying to protect their corridors uh, their areas uh, without having contact with the with the humans and the villages in that area so that's the conservation element um, then what we need to look at now uh, we are trying to select a small village uh, maybe in the edge of the, uh, the elephant uh, moving areas and try to implement uh, a, a sort of a village fencing program, not a large fencing program. Try to protect your village. Uh, it's called uh, village fencing uh, by using the solar power and things like that. It's a new initiative and, uh, and now we are in the process of initiating that thing. So that's the one step uh, further uh, what uh, we are moving. Uh, from the, the information that we have gathered for last so many years. Well, the elephants are extremely fascinating, fascinating animal. Um, we all know that, uh, you know, because its size, behavior and, you know, morphology and everything. Um, you know, it's just every little kid that visits Sri Lanka uh, that uh, think about uh, animals, elephant is, is the top of the list. So, you know, the conservation of elephant is also very important for Sri Lanka because there's an economic benefit from it. Uh, yes, the human elephant conflict is in the, in, the, in the forefront today if you're looking at the media and things like that. But the conservation of elephant is, is an economic gain for Sri Lanka. There are very few countries in the world that you will see uh, this large number of elephants in these kind of settings like Sri Lanka. So, um, you know, what we need to uh, the, the final message is uh, try to engage with whatever the conservation actions uh, that are doing, including this project. Uh, we are very welcome uh, anybody who is interested to come and learn and work with us uh, so that you carry the message and then uh, that will help to, uh, to strengthen uh, whatever the, the conservation community is doing uh, to conserve this mega uh, herbivore in Sri Lanka.